Have you ever wanted to create your own consistent character one that works across poses, outfits and settings without the hassle of starting over every time? I felt the same way. Most tutorials I found didn't quite solve the problem. They were limited, repetitive, and often stuck with the same clothing or required hours of extra work for just a few images. That's when I had an idea. What if I brought 3D asset tools into Comfy OI? Today, I'll show you how I turned that insight into a reusable, flexible workflow for consistent character creation in just five steps. Whether you're a digital artist, designer, or just curious about character generation, this guide will give you everything you need to get started. Before we dive into the steps, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update on new tips and techniques. If you find this content helpful, don't forget to like the video, it really helps me out. Also, if you want exclusive access to advanced workflows and tutorials, consider supporting me on Patreon. Your support helps me create even more in-depth content like this. Now, let's get started. Step one, building the base model. The first step in creating consistent characters is to start with a solid foundation. For this, I used Blender with the Humpchen plugin. You can adjust body shape, height, skin tone, facial features, hair, and even clothing and poses. For example, I created a base model with unique traits like a defined face structure, specific skin tone, and adjustable clothing options. Why? Because these attributes will carry over into every step of our workflow, ensuring our characters instantly recognizable no matter the pose or setting. If Blender isn't your tool of choice, you can explore alternatives like Maya Daz or Character Creator. The key is to choose a tool that lets you customize the model to suit your vision. Step two, capturing and extracting poses. Once the base model is ready, we need to bring it into Comfy UI. To do this, I rendered the 3D model in Blender in multiple poses and angles. This step is crucial for capturing a variety of character dynamics. Next, we use Flux.1-Dev models, specifically the Canny or Depth version, to extract poses and shapes from the three renders. Think of this like Control Net, but upgraded. These models can recognize the key contours and depth information from your renders, translating them into realistic, consistent outputs in ConfUI. Why is this step important? Without it, your characters might lose their proportions or visual style when moving into different positions. With this method, every pose remains consistent with your original vision. Step three, creating a consistent face. Now, let's lock in the most important part of your character, the face. For this, I recommend using the Pulid nodes or the Flux.1 Redux model. Here's how it works. Pulid ensures that the facial features of your character stay the same across all renders. No more worrying about slight variations or distortions. This step guarantees consistency, even when switching poses, lighting or scenes. I found that combining Pulid with Flux.1 Redux offers even better results. But feel free to experiment to see what works best for your project. The goal here is simple. When someone sees your character, they instantly recognize them no matter the setting. Step four, refining skin and adding clothing. With the face and poses locked in, it's time to bring the details to life. Let's start with the skin. For realistic skin refinement, I use the Realistic Skin Sigma Noise workflow. This process applies subtle details like pores, blemishes, and natural texture to the character's skin, enhancing realism without sacrificing consistency. Next is clothing. Using the Fill Cloth Transfer workflow, you can add clothing that aligns perfectly with your character's body and style. For instance, you can create multiple outfits for your character and switch between them seamlessly. The result? A polished character ready for any scenario from casual scenes to epic fantasy environments. Step five, training Allura. Finally, let's make all this effort reusable. This step is optional, but highly recommended train Allura Allure allows you to capture everything we've created so far, your character's body shape, facial features, skin texture, and even clothing styles and use it in future projects with minimal effort. Here's how it works. Take all the outputs we've generated so far and compile them into a dataset. Then use a training tool to create the Allure 
Once trained, you can load this Lore into ComfyUI or your preferred tool and instantly reproduce your character across new images, poses, and settings. This step saves time, ensures consistency, and opens up endless possibilities for reusing your character in future projects. If you enjoyed the video and found these tips helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so you're notified when I post new tutorials. I'd love to see what characters you're working on share your creations in the comments. And remember, for more exclusive content and behind the scenes access, check out my Patreon. Your support makes this channel possible and helps me bring even more helpful content your way. Thanks again for watching.